Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Today we are building ourselves uh, pretty much the most insane go-kart, yes, go-kart of all time. And I know it's not the perfect size for a go-kart, in fact it's absolutely massive for a go-kart, but we can imagine this as like an adult-sized go-kart, like a full-size, you know, 6 foot 8 behemoth of an adult could fit in this thing very comfortably. Um, as well as small children, you know, I, I think small children probably fit this thing. It'd be extraordinarily large, but they, they can fit. So we're gonna make this thing into our very own go-kart. It's gonna be pretty fast, not really, but fast for a go-kart. Um, because it's gonna have a car engine. It's gonna be kind of heavy for a go-kart as well, because it's gonna be, after all, a car. Uh, but we're gonna see how this thing drives. It's gonna be a one-speed, uh, you just get one speed. It's gonna be like 80 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour top speed, 60 miles an hour top speed around. And we're just see how good this thing is, how good it's going to look, how good it's going to drive. Um, a buddy of mine, Filmin86, he made his own go-kart vehicle a while back. You guys should check him out, link down in the description. But let's go on to our own go-kart. Carbon fiber panel material. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the car is heavy. It's not going to cost the same as a real go-kart. In fact, it's going to be incredibly expensive, but it's also larger and more powerful. Uh, monocoque chassis, carbon fiber chassis material. We want to get this thing as light as possible. It's going to be a rear engine. Now this body is absolutely garbage for rear engine cars, I think since the newest update, you fit very small engines, and in fact only one engine type will fit, we'll see in a sec. McPherson struts front and rear is fine, they are light, I want to keep it light, and they're, they're fine suspension. Now you think an inline 3 would be able to fit, right? Go for a 4 valve, just all aluminum, we can make it pretty small. Well, a dual vert cam 4 valve inline 3 won't fit, we can go for a push rod? No, a push rod is not going to fit either. We have to go for a boxer 4, yeah, that's right, a boxer 4 in a go-kart, dual or cam, four valve per cylinder, boxer four go-kart. I'm not too sure why, but I just I just like the idea of having a boxer four in a go-kart, to be honest. It's just really cool, and I don't think it's used ever, because why would you use a boxer four? But dang, that's just cool. It's gonna sound really great, because it's gonna rev really high as well. Uh, let's go just forged internals for now. We don't even need forged, do we? We probably don't. Honestly, this thing's not gonna have much power. It's not gonna rev. Um, it's gonna be a rather simple-ish engine, besides being four valve per cylinder. So we're making 39 or so horsepower. 39 horsepower, that's not bad. I, that's actually incredibly high for a for a go-kart. For a race kart, I think that sounds kind of reasonable. For a regular go-kart, that sounds like an absolute disaster. But remember, this car is going to be quite a bit heavier than your traditional go-kart. Uh, let's go for the hatchback configuration. I think this is the lightest body configuration. Of course, we're going to make this thing into a go-kart like in the thumbnail. So we're going to get rid of the entire body, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Rear-wheel drive, obviously. We're going to go for a four-speed manual, which I will then convert to a one-speed transmission. Um, you got forward, neutral, and reverse in BMG. That's all you really need for a real go-kart. Um, for racing carts, they do have, like, I, I think sequential, uh, maybe, uh, I think five and six speeds. Maybe a four-speed. I think five and six speeds is what they use for racing carts. But we're making not a racing cart. This thing's not going to be too extreme. It's going to be just a massive, oversized... Six foot eight behemoth of a man go kart, which sounds really reasonable to me. Uh, let's increase the top speed a little bit for the gearing here. Actually, let's just yeah, let's just leave that then. No, wait, we have the top speed lower. Let's make it low, and increase this decrease the spacing. So ninety kilometers an hour in first. Go a little higher. So hundred kilometers an hour. Maybe we'll do one hundred and five for first, which is going to be the only speed. It's going to be a manual locking differential. I just want the we can do automatic. Doesn't matter. I just want the ability to lock the rear end at any time easily. I know, like, you wouldn't have, like, a, an off-road manual locker in a real go-kart, but, um, I just want the, the rear axle locked, so that way both tires always spin, and that's kind of go-kart-esque, right? It's not just, uh, do they have open diff? I think it's just a solid axle, and they, they just spin equally and stuff they can't, yeah, exactly, it's fine, it's fine. Radial, semi-slick tires, we do need grip for this thing, although it's gonna be sketchy, probably. 145s up front, and 165s in the rear. We can space it out a tiny bit in the front, which, honestly, I don't really care for. Um, alloy wheels for now. Drum brakes front and rear. We don't really need anything else besides that, just drum brakes are fine. We can go for a fully clad under tree, but we'll go for none just to save weight. And of course, it's gonna be a, a one seat. It could be a two seater. A two seater. Oh gosh, this thing's gonna be a massive one seater go kart. Basic and no entertainment because it's a go kart. I, I don't know what you're looking for. We're gonna have ABS though. This is, uh, this is like a, a, you know, like I said guys, a 6 foot 8 behemoth of a man, adult size go-kart. It's gonna have ABS, because without ABS it's gonna be just terrifying, and it's gonna be terrifying regardless. Uh, no safety, minus 15 quality to save weight. We'll go for just standard gas to mono and passive, that sounds fine. Race tune for now. I will tune it much stiffer later on, but right now, 650 pounds. Which is quite light. Weight distribution is actually not that bad. It's a little bit rear biased, but that's actually pretty good for, uh, or a car. 
uh, especially because it's, you know, rear engine. Uh, 400cc or so Boxer 4. 39 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower for, for any go-kart, besides probably race carts. If we actually paint the body, we go to the body panels, we go to paint, we can actually paint it transparent. So the body's transparent, the windows still show up. So, you know, there's a couple things we can do. We can actually just adjust the window transparency, and so it's actually transparent in BeamNG, but the windows will still show in BeamNG just very, very faintly. So what we gotta do, let's put them back to full here. Then we take our body molding, we go to this reverse dog tape, which is what this is called. We can actually just go ahead and hide all of this goodness. We can place a few of these pieces just to hide this. So in BeamNG, it'll be invisible like that. So we'll go like this. We can make sure it's mirrored, etc. So I'll do a couple of these things. Um, we're also going to hide the chassis in BeamNG. So it's going to look like that. And we're also going to hide these pieces of the body as best as we can by doing this. This body is not the best to actually be cutting away from, but it's doable. So we can do our best to pretty much make the body itself uh, pretty invisible and build our own body and chassis from scratch. We actually might hide these suspension as well, so it's just like, <laughs> just like that. That's all you get. Uh, so we'll design the car, we will tweak the engine, tweak the suspension, I'll go through it in a quick time lapse, then we'll hop into BeamNG, and we're gonna see if this thing is up to the, you know, the standards of a real go-kart. So sit back, relax, guys, and of course, I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, we are starting the design for our very insane go-kart, and the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is cut out the rest of the body pieces and whatnot, because obviously we don't want to have it there. So I spent a little bit of time cutting out as close as I can, uh, so much so you don't actually even see it in uh, automation or BeamNG later on, I actually hide the body even later so you can't see it at all. So what I'm starting to do is actually just shape around the basics of the go-kart, placing a flooring and some walls and the sort of front bumper, and slowly curving them up, uh, the sides and the front as we go, just so it's a little more less very flat because it'd be really weird. Uh, we start doing the top center piece. Uh, pretty much it's gonna be the footwell. Yes, this go-kart's gonna have a footwell. It is quite massive of go-kart. Adding more details to the front, we have the seat already and we added just some, uh, some daytime running lights just because why not? It's gonna be a massive go-kart. Might as well have lights. Adding some pedals in the middle and working on an actual gauge cluster. This thing's gonna have proper gauges and such. It's gonna be a very expensive, very high-tech go-kart, I, I guess at this point, really. Again, adding more details uh, in the gauge clusters. So we have a, a gauge cluster that looks pretty cool. We've got a little bit of an antenna. We've got some screens built in next to that. Uh, adding a sort of a cover that's going to cover the engine in the back and a big radiator there because, of course, you need some air suck for our Boxer 4 engine. Building our own wing, it's not actually giving, giving us downforce, but it looks pretty cool. Um, just doing custom, or just doing the exhausts and adding a bit more detail to the back end. I'm not too sure what to do here, so I add like my own just air exhaust, air intake, whatever at the back. Um, adding some more detail to the front, adding the actual key, the starter key where the car starts. And a massive, I think this is a handbrake lever that I added. It doesn't actually look like a handbrake lever, but it is one. Some taillights, because we kind of need those, and some turret signals up front. Adding an M badge, this is going to be a Maven in... Uh, the M badge in the middle. This is the Maven All Cart. I added some black detailing and making the cart red, which I do change to yellow later on. I do make two variants of this cart, um, making these seats nice and red and black. So red and black is a sort of color theme with this thing for now. Adding a bit more detail and building our own little driver. This guy's name is Bob. He's a very great driver. Trust me on that. Uh, so I go back and I edit the car. We make two versions. We have the All Cart and the All Cart Spec R. The Spec R is the race version with our part hub and our pro station and our sub bay um, decals and stuff. Adding more power so it's going to rev to 16,000 RPM uh, in electric LSD. So this is the 2020... Maven all cart spec one in yellow and the all cart spec R in red. Alright guys, so like I said, this is the Maven All Kart Spec 1. I actually made two go-karts, the Spec 1 and the Spec R, which we'll see more in BeamNG. That one is basically a racing go-kart. Of course, these things are massively sized with unrealistic engines, but they look pretty cool. Um, so we got Bob, our driver right here, with, with skin-colored pants and skin-colored clothing and skin-colored seats. I wouldn't ask why they're skin-colored. They 
they just are. Uh, we got this, you know, nice gauge display. We got some screens there. We got some pedals. We got a, this is supposed to be like a, a handbrake to do handbrake turns, but it's shifter, but that's, that's fine. Um, design, so it looks similar to some racing carts, but obviously it's much more chunky. Uh, it's not as smooth. It's not as beautiful as some racing carts might be. And of course, you have like an enclosed area for your legs, which is really weird because this thing is so massive. But I think it looks really cool in its own right. This is like a, a giant go-kart for giant people. I think of like, you know, actual giants or something, like 10, 12 feet tall. And this is their car. This is their little cart. I think that's totally fine. Um, so the engine is tuned a little bit. 43 horsepower. Uh, it's 9,500 RPM, 660 pounds. We do have the Spec R version, which revs to an astounding 16,000 RPM, which is absolutely crazy. Obviously, it's still a Boxer 4. I just want to hear what the Boxer 4 sounds like, really, at 16,000 RPM. It makes a bit more horsepower, and by a bit, I mean quite a bit more horsepower. It's also heavier, though, with a uh, retuned suspension and a sequential 4-speed that's actually going to work. This is just going to be a 1-speed. Um, let's hop into BMG, test both the cars. I want to see which one's faster. Of course, the spec R is going to be faster, but by how much? Um, and we'll do a bunch of tests and see which one really is the best, and if it's really worthy of the go-kart name. I'll see you guys in BMG Drive in just a sec. And finally, guys, we are in BMG Drive with the Maven All Kart. And you know what? It actually looks really good at BMG. Bob's looking pretty... You know, Bob's there. Bob's there. So this is the automation test track. This is the handling circuit. We're going to do a lap around this with the just the the spec one then we're gonna do a lap with the spec r so we're gonna do two laps spec one then spec r back to back then we're gonna hop and just do some like just a detailed walk on how these cars are and, and what they are um so the car looks pretty good this has got what 43 44 horsepower weighs about 650 pounds we're gonna go into first person i think for the first race we've got the rear end locked Yeah, I'm just sort of feathering the clutch here because it just does not like revving up. I probably could change the gear and make this thing actually have a lower top speed so that way it uh, accelerates a bit faster. But, it's not bad. 0 to 60 counter or 0 to 100 km an hour counter on the top left. And that doesn't actually matter, I guess, right now, but that's fine. So the record is like 111 with this map. And we're not going to get that, obviously, with this thing. This thing's just too slow. Has no downforce at all, actually. But it's light. Yeah, it's part of the way ratio is actually not terrible. Come on. But the spec R is much faster. And it's got more speeds. This thing's just a single speed. The spec R's got four speeds, sequential. It's so slow. It's so slow. But it breaks quick. Of course, it's so light. Handling nice here, going through the twisties. Dude, the single speed's actually not bad at all, honestly. I think a CVT would be really weird, this car, and I think it'd actually work really well. Maybe a CVT would be fun for the race version, I don't know. But sequential's fine for now, I think. I'll have a link to download the car, obviously, in the description for both cars if you guys want to download them. Also, make sure to check out Phil's build. Oh, well, that was close. 126! Not bad! 126. I love the 0 to 60 counter was 124.8. The whole time it just never got to 60 or 200 kilometers an hour, apparently. It's fast. It also has an electric LSD because honestly, at this point, why not? This is like a race cart. It weighs about 700 pounds, about 690 or so pounds, so a little heavier than the other one, actually. That's just due to the retune suspension and a few things tweaked here and there, but it's got carbon fiber wheels, which is pretty wild. Direct, direct injection. The engine's too retuned, so it's got direct injection. Of course, it rips to 16,000, so it's tuned in J-beam. Oh. It detected an impact and stopped the car, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Yeah, for some reason, it just detects impacts. I don't know why. This car's the exact same. Oh, again. We're cut the corner, I guess, because we can. Why is it so tight to get back? It does not like this at all. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Back to racing. Yeah, the brakes, the ABS, thankfully we have ABS. Without ABS, this thing would be just absolute insanity. It's pretty quick, though. By pretty quick, like 0 to 60 is like 5 seconds or so. That was my bad. We should not have downshifted there. Come on. 
Okay, the exact same time. We did we did stop the car like four times, but the same time. Okay, it's not much faster, but the zero to sixty is incredible. Launch it quick. I don't know how that was 19 seconds, but I'll take that. But it's pretty quick. The car sounds pretty good. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is fine. We're, we're not gonna do that camera. Okay. Doesn't like to launch, just take off. But like, when's it cruising? It's not bad. It actually handles nicer as well. It's much more forgiving to drive, much easier. Not as fast, obviously. We got one speed only. And it doesn't sound insane like the other car, so I'll take that. If you guys want, again, if you guys want to download these cars, I'll link them in the description. You guys can also get the .car files to, to mess around with that automation. There's a bunch of mods used, but uh, you're welcome to, to test it out and, and hang out with it, basically. If you guys want to see like another video with this car, maybe comparing it to Philin's car, let me know in the comments down below. We'll do a head-to-head -head beam MP race or something. But if you guys want to see more automation stuff, also leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, a beam and G video is coming up in the next few days as well. I think I'm gonna have another automation tomorrow another video on for automation tomorrow actually so a lot of videos are coming up in the next week uh, and make sure to join the discord linked in the description Bob's looking pretty fly with his nice helmet and his leather pants okay so first up is the all spec the the, 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 the spec one sure the spec one we'll, we'll get rid of these things the spec ones first we'll launch it it's depressingly slow but it's, it's more realistic that way but yeah it just does not go very fast at all we're not gonna lock the, uh, the rear end because why not I guess And we are going pretty quick, 160, this thing's sketchy to drive. Oh god, it's like skating. Oh gosh, we're fine. Oh no, we're fine. 200 kilometers an hour to go car be crazy. This thing is a full-size car though, obviously. Yeah, the wind, there's no there's no downforce physics that the car does not take off like my, my F1 car, but it rolls actually pretty well. It just keeps going. Yeah, I think Bob's probably fine. I'd say that's probably fine. Nothing wrong here. Come on. Come on, Bob. It was a good jump here. Power through it. Power through it. Come on, we can do this. It's much more terrifying to drive. It's very twitchy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, would not recommend jumping. This thing needs actual downforce. It's just like a skating rink. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, uh, that's, that's that. Come, up. Uh, yeah, we're good. Up, uh, almost. Yeah, that'll buff out. Alright, if you guys liked the video, leave a like down below, make sure to comment, subscribe, share, uh, link to the Discord in the description, and again guys, go check out Filmin86's channel, he makes awesome automation content, so if you like my stuff, you'll like his stuff, obviously. If you made it this far, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, just click the subscribe button, click the bell icon, because why not? Um, thank you guys, of course, so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.